Chapter 17 Knowledge of Atom In this chapter, Hermes teaches us how to attain knowledge of God. This, he declares, is the very purpose of human life. Only like can truly know like. So to know God, we must become like God. To do this, Hermes advises us to imagine ourselves in all places at all times, to embrace all opposites, to know we are immortal, to see ourselves as still in the womb and yet already dead. By expanding our consciousness in this way, we can merge with the mind of God. Mind is the immortal part of a human being. It is the divine light which emanates from God. Of all living things, human beings alone have this divine quality which gives them the potential to know God. Such knowledge is not intellectual opinion. Opinion is only a dim reflection of knowledge. Knowledge is a direct experience of the truth. It is certain and immediate. An enlightened being does not have opinions about God. He is one with God. The experience of mind is like a prize that may be won by human souls. God wants us to immerse ourselves in mind and so become wholly divine. Yet those that do are thought mad by the mass of ignorant people. They are laughed at, despised, and even put to death. As history shows, this has often been the fate of the wisest saints and sages, such as Socrates and Jesus. Knowledge of Atom To know Atom you must share his identity, for only like can truly know like. Leave behind the material world and imagine yourself immeasurably expansive. Rise out of time to eternity. Believe that for you, nothing is impossible. See that you are immortal and learned in every art and every science. Be at home in the haunts of every living creature. Make yourself higher than the highest and deeper than the depths. Embrace within yourself all opposites, heat and cold, hard and fluid. Think yourself everywhere at once, on land, at sea, in heaven. Imagine yourself unborn in the womb, yet also young and old and already dead and in the world beyond the grave. See that everything coexists within mind. All times and all places, all things of all shapes and sizes. Then you will know Atom. If it is possible to talk of the substance of Atom, then mind is the very divine substance. Although only Atom knows its precise nature, mind is not separate from Atom, but emanates from him, like light from the sun. In human beings, mind produces divinity. Through mind, some become godlike. For as Osiris teaches, gods are immortal men, and men are mortal gods. Mind is the divine part of a human being, which is capable of rising to heaven. The material part, consisting of fire, water, earth and air, is mortal and remains earthbound, so that he does not abandon the body that has been entrusted to him. Soul is nourished by fire and air, and the body by water and earth. Mind is the fifth part, which comes from light. 
and is bestowed on humankind alone. Of all the beings that have soul, only human beings, elevated by this gift of mind, may attain knowledge of atom. Such knowledge is not opinion, which is only a poor copy of knowledge, an echo in comparison with a voice, the dim reflected light of the moon compared to the brilliance of the sun. Mind and speech are great gifts that Atom bestowed on humans alone. Used wisely, they make a man like the immortal gods, only different in that he is incarnate in a physical form. When he leaves behind this body, mind and speech will be his guides, leading him to join the company of gods and other souls that have attained the supreme bliss. Other creatures have voice, but not speech. Each living creature has its own unique voice, but speech is shared in common by all humans. Humankind is one, and speech is also one. It is translated from tongue to tongue, yet whether in Egyptian, Persian, or Greek, the meaning remains the same. This is because speech is an image of mind, and mind is an image of atom. By atom's will, mind is like a prize that human souls may win. He filled a great bowl with mind and sent it down to earth, telling a herald to announce, listen every human heart, immerse yourself in mind, recognize the purpose of your birth, ascend to him who has sent this bowl. Those that bathe themselves in mind find true knowledge and become complete. Yet they are not pleasing to the mass of men. They are thought mad and laughed at. They are hated and despised and may even be put to death. 